which is a little bit difficult for me. But anyway, again, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our seminar about the gold standard uh, program. I hope that you have found those days here useful, informative, and very conducive to support you in your business endeavor. I hope also that you have found some time, or you will find some time, to enjoy a little bit uh, the very pleasant, beautiful local environment, and to enjoy a little bit of our traditions and culture that are very rich and very old. My role today is uh, to give you a little bit of ideas about our gold standard program. To start, let me recall some numbers about uh, G.S. Thompson. Last year, G.S. Thompson was a company of $4 billion and did a profit of $406 million net after tax and basically has a very strong balance sheet with a net financial position of zero, which means we have no debts. Not bad for a tough year like 1996. So we are strong, profitable, viable corporation. In the 10 years since the company was formed, S.G.S. Thompson has enjoyed a constant stream of successes, making us today one of the most dynamic, competitive, and fast-growing world players. In the year 93, the top management team of the company sat together to see what is to be our Vision 2000. And we described for us in three points what we envisioned as Jess Thompson to be in the year 2000. Those three points are, we want to be one of the top ten world suppliers, we want to have a financial performance better than the average of the top ten, and we want to be the best in class in service and environmental performance. This is the vision 2000 that we described for ourselves in the year 93. Well, already in 96, ahead of the schedule, we had fulfilled all the points of our vision. According to DataQuest, we share the number 10 position with the Philips and Mitsubishi, so we are in the top 10. In terms of financial performance, see, if you take the published data, routinely, for years, we are better than the average of the top 10, at least on the base of the published results. And as far as uh, service and environmental performance, I'm very, very proud of the recognition the corporation got in 1997, when in September 18, we received the, the European Quality Award. Something which you can be proud of being associated with our company, we can be proud, our customer can be comfortable that we are going to be and are a world-class supplier. The European Quality Award is a very prestigious, selective recognition that very, very few corporations are granted. This means that we are a world-class company in terms of quality performances. And environmental? Well, in 1997, all our facilities worldwide, all of them, have been qualified, labeled either EMAS or ISO 14001, which are the European and the American labeling agency for environmental performances. I believe, from my knowledge, that we are the only company in the semiconductor large suppliers worldwide to have achieved that, and probably the only one in electronics. I don't know. I don't know the others. But very, very few companies have this. By the way, just to mention in Italy, in Italy there are only three sites that are qualified for EMAS, labeled for EMAS. Only three in total Italy. And out of those three is SGS Thompson Catania, who was the first Italian labeled for EMAS, SGS Thompson Agrate was the second site labeled for EMAS, SGS Thompson Castelletto was the third site labeled for Italy. So three out of three are SGS Thompson. And in France, in 96, Italy, with their uh, procedure a little bit uh, slow in coming to the qualification process. But the same was similar in France in 1996. We had four sites out of seven. In total, France in 96, uh, seven sites in total were labeled, and four of those were all the four sites of S.G.S. Thompson. So the EQA 
and the EMAS and 14, 000, ISO 14001 are a clear testimony that SGS Thomson is a world-class corporation in quality and environmental performance, in service environmental performance. So our three major points of our Vision 2000 have been accomplished ahead of time. This year, we are going to meet again the top management of the company, the top 300 people that constituted the top management of the company, some of whom are here in this room, will be meeting again to define our Vision 2005. I don't know what, what will be the outcome, or better, I think I know, but uh, as to be a participation of all of us to define for us the Vision 2005. One thing I'm sure will be more aggressive, more challenging, because we think we have the intrinsic characteristic to be the best supplier in the industry in terms of quality, service, uh, and offering to the customer the partnership they want. We will publish this this year, in the year 2005, we will see that we have met them ahead of a schedule. Why the success of the company? There is no question, and I will address those, that there are strategies, and I will touch on those. There are products, there are technologies. But the best thing is people. Is the people of the company, the people of our partners, our distribution network, our customers that uh, have confidence on us. Everything is about people. We have a strong confidence in our people and in our partners. The strategies of the company, in fact, are very, I believe, uh, well selected, but other companies could have similar strategies. The execution is what makes the difference. I will remember very, very briefly those strategies. Number one, the major strategic guideline, three major strategic guidelines. Number one is innovation, driven by the market through strategic alliances. We keep spending in R&D year after year more than the industry average. But we try to spend intelligently, working with the customers, working with the market, not in isolation, so that we can come at the right time with the right products that your customers want. Innovation. The second major strategic guideline is globalization. And everybody has a globalization strategy. But for us, the world is going to be eventually a global village. But in the process of becoming a global village, we know that there will be, for many years, a strong regional connotation. Tradition, social environment, business environment are different among different macroeconomic regions. Asia is a macroeconomic region. Europe is a macroeconomic region. US is a macroeconomic region. Japan is a macroeconomic region. Our philosophy is the one of being global, but by being an integrated manufacturer an integrated supplier in each macro, major macroeconomic region. This means having in each macroeconomic region marketing, manufacturing, design, application, product development, the technology, all the conditions to be a local supplier to the local customers, at the same time to be a global supplier. This is our peculiarity, and very few companies have achieved that. The third major strategic guideline is productivity drive. In a business that is very fast changing and very competitive, productivity drive is very important to assure the return in our resources. But for us, the productivity drive is uh, through the total quality management culture, through putting our people at the center of the business enterprise, making our people actors, not factors of the business process. And total quality management has been driving us to the success and the recognition I mentioned before. Those three major strategic guidelines have been at the base of our behavior the last 10 years, will remain at the base of our behavior in the coming few, several years to bring us in our vision 2005 and beyond. But at the end, we make products and customer buy products, or better, customer buy solutions. Customer want that we solve their application needs with the right products at the right time, with the right quality, and serving the needs that they have. So what is our product portfolio? I will not go into much detail in our product portfolio, but let me simplify for the purpose of this meeting. Our product portfolio can be divided in two major broad categories. What we call the differentiated products and the standard products. Those two major blocks represent roughly 60% and 40%. 60% of differentiated products, 40% of the standard products. 
More precisely, in 1997, 57% were the differentiated, the 43% were the standard. But roughly speaking, we have been, we want to be, and we want to maintain this ratio of about 60-40 between differentiated and standard products. The differentiated products are those that have system content that are specific for a socket, specific for an application, specific for a given solution. And those are in general the dedicated products, the dedicated micro, the semi-custom, and the combination of those into what is called the system solution on silicon. LGS Thompson has been a pioneer of those concepts. For years we have been attacking that, and now we are enjoying the success in there. We will continue to be a leader in this area. But there is another big 40%, and that, for simplicity, let me go in detail into the uh, differentiated products because it's a gold standard meeting today. We will address also, have been addressing, the other big block, the 40%. By the way, last year, if you take 43%, is more than $1.7 billion. So it's a big block, big block. This big block of products are standard products. They are very, very important for the company. The differentiated products represent uh, maybe the key for strategic alliance because they go into the system. And also they represent a very important attachment to the evolution of the company and some attacking very fast growth markets. The standard products on the other end represent the greatest approach to the customer base. Allow the company differentiation geographically by segment by customer, by application, and they represent for us a very important stream of a continuous sales, profit, and cash. Very, very important for the company. We have been very strong in differentiated products. We have been very strong in standard products, but not as strong as we could be. And in fact, I believe that for our product portfolio, our sales are inadequate. For our manufacturing capability, our sales are inadequate. So in 1996, we decided to give a new impetus to our standard product through this idea and this program of a gold standard campaign. What is the gold standard? Well, this morning, uh, Stefan, in his presentation, described what are the characterization of the gold standard. Let me su summarize in a few words. First, let me say that uh, Today, the gold standards are those family that pass those criteria. But eventually, all our families will be, all our standard families will be gold standard. All our families, as soon as they meet those criteria, will become a gold standard. So please sell all the standard products, and they will become all gold standard products. The criteria presented by Steven, where the just-in-time, the lead time, the quality, the competitiveness can be condensed in three things. Superior service, superior quality, superior competitiveness via superior cost effectiveness and cost structure. The families that qualify for those characteristics, we classify gold standard. Today, we have 11 product families in the gold standard category. EEPROM and d square prom among the memories, Voltage regulator, standard linear, and standard logic among the standard ICs. Tyristors, rectifiers, and protection among the discrete. Power transistors, bipolar, and power transistor MOS among the power transistor. And finally, the standard microcontrollers, 8-bit, among the big family of the micro. Those 11 families today meet the criteria for the gold standard, and therefore they are gold standard. One major family, for example, our flash, are not yet the gold standard. Why? Because until now we didn't have enough capacity. And since we didn't have enough capacity, we couldn't give the characteristic of the supply timing that the market requires. Now we have the beautiful M5 that we have seen, a world-class module, 18-inch, deep submicron, leading edge technology ramping up. As soon as this module will be in high volume production, the flash will become also, within this year, part of the gold standard family. But you see that before we do we scrutiny and qualify ourselves, 
until they reach the characteristics so that they become qualified the gold standard. What is the secret of success in gold standard? There must be five distinctive capabilities in order to become a gold standard. There are, must be five distinctive capabilities for us to be successful in the gold standard program. What are those five distinctive capabilities? Number one, a broad, very broad product family, product range, and a continuous flow of new product introduction. Number two, a very cost-effective manufacturing machine and a relentless cost reduction. Number three, redundant capacity. So to be able to respond to the market peak and drastic variation. Number four, planning systems, MIS systems, and logistic systems to be able to provide the optimum service in the shortest of the time and the quickest of delivery. And number five, the most important, marketing coverage and marketing share of mind. Through those five capabilities, we are a major player in the gold standard. We want to be the world leader in absolute term in the gold standard. Why? Because there is no other company in the world that can match us in the ensemble, in the global of those five capabilities. Some company may be strong in one or another, but no competitor can match as just Thompson in those five capabilities. Look, for example, the product portfolio. If you take those 11 families that are our gold standard family, it's unbelievable the richness that we have. Maybe that some competitor in some of those families may have a richer portfolio, maybe temporary. But overall, nobody. Manufacturing, they are absolutely nobody can match our competitive cost structure. If you visit our plants in Asia, in Singapore, in Moir, in Shenzhen, in Catania for the diffusion, in Morocco for the assembly, in Tour, in Rousset, in Agrate, our plants are world class and competitive more than anybody else. There is no other competitor can match us, definitely. And we have the culture through our TQM to continue to drive the cost down to improve service quality of our products. If we look at the third characteristic of these capabilities that I mentioned before, we have made the commitment for redundant capacity. We are investing very heavily. Even last year was a tough year. We kept investing very heavily in order to have redundant capacity, not only enough capacity, but redundant capacity, both in front end and back end. And since we have a very diversified company with a lot of products, our front end becomes nearly for free in many cases since when we move from some more advanced generation we move the capability to less advanced generation continuing to offer the spectrum. And very competitive. Look at our plants. We have 5 inch, 6 inch, 8 inch, the full variety. And we keep exploiting them. This is great. So in terms of uh, uh, redundant capacity, we have committed the capital investment we are doing. In terms of uh, service systems, we are upgrading our MS system with introduction of entire new blocks. Since one year is operating the demand generation system, but we are putting new planning and schedule system, the rhythm, making huge investment in EDP, the logistic, with the region warehouses where we can respond immediately, the infrastructure, all the concept is very, very conducive to provide to the customer good service. But finally, the most important is marketing. And there I believe we can do better. I think that we must uh, exploit this potential through a most intensive, more intensive, more aggressive coverage from us, from our distributors, from all the network, because we consider our distributors our partners. They are an integral part of the marketing efforts. And what we want, the distributors ourselves, we both want the same thing. We want the market share, we want profit, we want continuity and sustainable growth and profit. In order to do so, we must invest. This is what we were saying this morning. We have been doing in the past. We must to continue to do. We, as Jess Thompson, will continue to provide to you product portfolio, new products, competitive pricing, 
But we cannot compete simply reactively. We must be actively. We must have the design in. Jean-Claude was making the point. We must design in our products. You must invest in technical support, the design in effort, not only reactively. We want to participate in the whole portfolio of the company. Nobody can beat us in cost. But we don't want to be crazy. We want to be competitive. We will sell at competitive price, but reasonable price. We must be capable of getting the value for our products, the value for our pr service. We must sell the range. The gold standard is not only the high volume low end. The gold standard is all the rich variety of the products that we generate. So we need this efforts from the marketing organization, which means our own marketing organization in the regions, in the divisions, and our distribution network. If we can do those things, uh, we can enjoy both of us, the distribution and ourselves, fast grow and great profit. I believe this is going to be done because it's in our common interest. There is no reason why it should not be done. And the marketing investment is relatively limited for the return that we can get, both of us, with huge portfolio and with the rich portfolio that we have. If we do so, what is our goal? What is our ambition? Very simple. In the established families of gold standard, we want at least a double by the year 2000, which means a 30% growth per year. In the established gold standard families. But if we add the new that are becoming gold standard like the flash, then we must add a lot of money. This is what we want to have. The fastest growing industry to give you and us both optimum return in market share, profit, and continued growth and continued return. I believe that those things are feasible. I believe that all the ingredients are in place. It is up to us now to go and collect the results. You, our distributors, are very, very vital. The total sales of the company are about 20% through distribution and 80% through OEM. But for the gold standard, more than 40% are through distribution. Therefore, you are very vital for our gold standard program, and our gold standard program is very vital for your return, your growth. We have a common interest to support this program. We are committed. We expect that you are also committed, so that in Trump we can enjoy for the best return for you and for the best return for us. I hope you will continue to enjoy the rest of the meeting and you go back and save and get back and selling and get all the products and all the orders. Good stay and good luck. And if anybody wants to ask any question, I will be glad to answer.